Yo, it's Good Tuesday. Jay already back with another video. Today's video is a very important video to me and to the culture. And today was the first Louis Vuitton show with Virgil Abloh as the designer. Now, this is crazy for two reasons. One, Virgil Abloh is the first African-American menswear designer. Like, bruh, that's... Two, he did this all without fashion school and without like, I mean, he had guidance, but it was like he opened his own doors and he, he, he knocked down these barriers for people that want to be designers without fashion school. He broke down barriers for people like me. Like I've never been to any type of fashion school or anything like that. So he just kind of gives a blueprint or a path for people. And he, he set it to where people can do the same thing he's doing and gave a path for people to have hope to be in that position. So today I'm just gonna give my initial reaction. I haven't yet seen the actual runway of this spring summer um, collection, but I have seen some pictures, I'm not gonna lie. I've seen a couple of people that were on the lineup and stuff like that. Um, so just that and a couple of looks, but besides that, I haven't seen any type of um, runway action. I haven't seen every outfit. So this is gonna be interesting, man. I'm excited to watch it. It's my first initial reaction, so we're gonna get right into it. Yo, the initial runway looks dope. Just by itself. That rainbow color. It's like a gradient. That's that's fire. But we already kinda know like with Virgil with the architecture and all that, that his setups are always dope. Hold on. Yo, look at the sideline, bruh. Yo, you got Travis Scott in the cut, you got Kylie, Kim, Ye, Jordan, Takashi. Like, bruh. Just imagine having these people show up to one of your events. Like, that's the same feeling, bro. That's a really clean look, by the way. I, I really like how he, how he like gave a different approach on the bags. He just added like a couple of chains and stuff like that. I seen it in like one of the original, like in the making type videos, but that look was fire right there with the dude that had the the blonde dreads. Super clean. I, I don't know if those were Tim Tim's. Yo, the jewelry that they're wearing, I think, is ceramic. Like, I heard him saying something about ceramic in a previous look. Actually, hold on, let me rewind, because I was just talking. And this is one of my favorite looks. I don't even mess with or have any clear shirts, but that clear shirt with the, the LV logo, crazy. I just thought it was real dope. Like, I already knew he was gonna be in it, but I just think it was real dope that um, that he put these people as as models. That bag is insane. That duffel bag he was carrying. That look. That look right there. Hold on, let me move on. But the look with the pockets. I don't know, I'll freeze frame it, I can't find it. But uh, the look with the pockets is insane to me. I don't know what type of shirt that is. I don't know if it's like a, a thin button down or something like that. I couldn't quite catch it, but overall, like just that pocket in the front is just, is just super dope. It kind of gives it like a tactical feel. Um, I just think it's fresh. He 
and Connor in the cut. See with the chain accessories on the bag. Fine. And these aren't even like typical Louis Vuitton colors, like this all white or cream is like it's beautiful, bro. It's Cuddy. I, I knew Cuddy was in there too, but yo, the the guy right behind him, that kind of like zip up jacket, that joint looks hard. I can't really quite get any details on it, but from like the initial initial look and the texture of it, it looks quilted. That joint looks crazy. Glasses are fire too. I seen the glasses. I seen the red version when he posted it on IG. And then of course the vest. Yo, the vest. Y'all know how I feel about vests. I called up my cousins. Insane. I called up the Muslims. Said I'm about to go down. Get out of here now. Scream so loud, got no lungs. Hurt so bad, I go numb. Time to bring in the drums. That I see Lucas Sabat wearing that. I seen him wearing that. I don't even know what that is. It's like, I don't know if it's if it's straps in the back or something like that, but it looks like it looks like some kind of shoulder bag, and it even has like a chain. Like I don't know what to call that accessory, but it is insane, bro. Crazy. Set the nuke off on them. I need coke with no rum. I taste coke on her tongue. I don't joke with no one. They'll say he died so young. Bad okay, case. Up too many right. bad days. Got too many bad traits. Use the floor for ashtrays. I don't do shit halfway. I'm a clear the cat. It's a different type of rules that we obey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Season, nigga. We oh, it's a better than the jacket. We was Definitely looks cool to it. Kind of looks like a puffer a little bit. A. Niggas say hero, mm, I don't Ooh. see no cake. Yo, the Louis the bag, bro. Yo. Season, oh, nigga, uh. D.O. Bank. We was all born to die, uh. nigga, D.O. Bank. Niggas say hero, mm. Oh, no, that's a jacket. Is that a jacket? I don't know. Where have he got in his hand? That green joint? It's like marble. It's like marble. I don't see no cake. I don't see no. Yeah, I don't see no. If I wasn't shining so hard, wouldn't be my weed ass nigga. It's gonna be okay. Yo, that colorful joint. I really like the color palette of it. I like how it's like. I don't even know how to explain it, but it that that's hard. Even when I went broke. It almost look like an athletic, those jackets almost look like some training gear or something. Or like something that like, uh, Under Armour. Ooh, the vest. Yo, the vest with the pockets in the front. Like, if you look at Kim Kardashian's uh, outfit, I see that she definitely had, like, it was some kind of dress or something. And it had, like, those same pockets. I don't know if that was just the overall thing, but it's fire, bro. Fire. I'll probably say fire way too much. But it's virtual though, so. Yeah, those pants are hard. Maybe a bit baggy for something. Actually, I like the shorts better. Pants are a little bit too baggy and flowy for me, but pants are great. Yo, those Louis V boots. Yo, I'm not gonna lie to you, these 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 more business looks. <laughs> this is where it's at. 
but it is Louis Vuitton, so you definitely gotta expect that. But I think, I think these poor business looks is where it's at. These suits and the way they put it together, the leather goods. That's the best I was talking about. It's crazy. I don't know how I feel about that side, little side thing, I don't know what that was, but... That shirt had the pockets on the sleeve. Another quilted jacket that drum is crazy. This could the, uh, the stitches is a, a different color than the jacket. So that definitely made it pop. That was fire. Clear bag. I don't know what that little accessory was hanging off of it. That was that was crazy. That's damn fun. Oh, that was Cardi's fit. Yo, Cardi's fit was crazy. It, had, it was like a reflective material and just. Cardi's feel is insane. Yeah, that's the floor print I was talking about. Pure art, man, I'm telling you. I actually really like that look. I think that yellow accent goes really well with that kind of pattern or texture. I'm not quite sure. It looks like paint or something. Or like bleach, bleach patches. Sweater's hard too. I've seen the sweater in the pictures before, I'm not gonna lie. The sweater looks like a mural or something. Got the chest bag, chest ring. Yo, that they go Cardi fit. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, Cardi shoe is hard. Yeah, that overall look is just crazy. It has like a a reflective poncho over with like a rainbow reflective bag, like some some futuristic stuff. That was hard. Right. Oh, this is the ending. This is the ending. Yeah, so this is definitely definitely the ending. I thought so. Couldn't quite tell from that view, but man of the hour, first. Crazy man, this is history right here, bro. Literally. Yo, I know that's gotta be so emotional, bro, cause yo, yay, bro. The way that they just both came up in this creative world and broke down the walls that they broke down, the fact that them being at such great positions in their careers. It's emotional, man. So this is this is definitely beautiful to see see them hug it out. You know what I'm saying? They came so far. It's just, it's just good to see, man. Proud of proud of Yay and Virgil, bro. So that is the end of the show. Um, I'm just gonna kind of go through a couple of looks. First of all, my overall opinion on the show it was done very well. I feel like people, like I said, underestimated Virgil and what he was gonna bring to the table as far as it being a high, higher, higher end brand. I think people thought he was just gonna walk into Louis Vuitton and put quotes on everything and make it like off-white. People basically thought it was gonna be off-white times Louis Vuitton, which is not what he did. He actually came through and made it, just gave a little bit more life to Louis Vuitton and just made it overall, he, he, he did well. He did very well, it was great. And now I'm just gonna go through a couple of looks that I thought was dope. Now this first one right here with the, um, all white business business jacket, suit jacket, whatever you want to call it. And then he has the bag with the chain. Now, I told y'all I felt about the chain or the chain accessories on the bags. I thought it was a super good idea. Definitely gives the bag more character. Now, this next look that I kind of didn't catch all the way, which actually has Steve Lacey modeling it. Um, Steve Lacey's a dope music artist, if you didn't know. But he has on this clear... Louis Vuitton logo shirt. Now this shirt is definitely hard. I don't own any type of clear shirts or anything like that, but this is definitely insane. Like 
just the overall look and how he pulled it off with the jewelry. Like I said, I think that jewelry might be some type of ceramic or something like that. But now this next one with the white is what I was talking about with all the pockets. Now, now I can see that it's more of a button down shirt. It just looks insane. I think, remember how I was mentioning that Kim had on the similar thing? I think she had on maybe one of these and just kind of tied it around and made it look like a dress. So this is definitely a fire shirt. Now moving on to like the brown looks. This look is really, really clean. I personally gravitated towards the bag, the accessories. Now I can't, I can't quite tell what that is. It looks just like shoulder straps or um, it almost looks like holsters, but it's not. It's an accessory. I'm not quite sure if it is rigged around the body in any type of way or if it's just thrown across the top of the neck. But super clean accessory. Don't even know what to call it, but it's dope. And this was, of course, the quilted kind of jacket, zip up jacket. Now it does look like he's wearing some type of of jacket that doesn't really look like a bag. I'm not quite sure though, but. It definitely looks dope. Then he has the chest rigs. Now the chest rig looks fire, especially in this marble color. I'm not quite sure if it's the fur texture that was on that last um, bag or jacket that the guy was holding, but definitely looks clean. Then he threw in this rainbow kind of like Mars looking, space looking inspired jacket, which is just insane, bro. The color, the, color, the way this is styled is super clean with the accents of yellow, so. This is super hard. The bag is hard as well. We're gonna get into the bag when I see Cardi's fit. Now I was mentioning this pants. I really liked how these pants looked um, with the red top and all that. The red bag is fire as well, but I just think the, the marbled kind of texture on the pants looks fire. But I actually did like the pants, or not the pants, the shorts a lot better. Not even just because of the colorway. Just, I think that pattern looks a lot better on shorts. They're a bit less flowy, so I don't know, this overall look is really dope. Now, this red business jacket with the brown Louis V belt, with the Louis V boots. Okay, these are the boots that, that um, Nas was wearing. So, these boots is crazy. Now, he has the brown bag as well with the nice um, chain on it. So, I think this is one of my favorite looks right here. Just the red business jacket with the pants brown accents just sets it all off. The sweaters, by the way, are super dope as well. I really like the the overall graphic of it. Now this is also probably one of my favorite looks. Just this quilted jacket that he has on, it's like a quilted bomber. And then we have a closer look at this like bleached look, this bleached denim look, and with that accent of that orange bag, and I'm not quite sure what that bag is called. It's kind of like a some type of cylinder bag, but I'm sure y'all can tell me in the comments. Now for the last one, we got Cardi's outfit, which is this reflective poncho, really space-like, really rainbow-like with the bag, and these like brick pattern pants. Now, this look is overall dope. I actually seen the shoes by themselves when Virgil posted it, but just this overall look is crazy, man. So that pretty much sums it up for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the show as well. I thought it was super dope, and I'm definitely looking forward to more of creations from Virgil with Louis Vuitton. So thank you guys for watching, man. I'll be back to you guys with more. Baby, sold out dates, cash every day. I got you a maze, a lot of blue rays. You cheated my pet, the condo a cage. I did it in six, I gotta get laid.